Hey everyone, this is an introduction video about the course expectations for this semester. So the first thing we're going to go over in this video is the course syllabus. So I have the PDF version pulled up and I wanted to go through and outline a couple of different important things. Um, so this basic information right through here goes over course information. The thing about this that you all really need to pay attention to is the proctoring dates. So we will have one proctored exam that's given throughout the semester. It is going to be unit four exam and that will be open from May 7th to the 14th. So that gives you a full week for you to go in and get that proctored. All right, so this other information, um, my office is at the Richwood Valley campus over in Ozark, but if you live in Springfield or somewhere else, please email me um, and we'll set up a place to meet in different times. Um, I'm always available, just give me a little bit of notice and I'll make sure to be able to meet you. Along those along those lines, sorry, is the response time. So I'm expected to respond within 24 hours except on weekends, holidays, and during official college closures. Um, and I do my best to meet this. If you ever have any questions, please email me. I've also included my phone number, so if you need to get a hold of me, please make sure that you either email me or actually call me. All right, so we are gonna jump down to textbooks and the required materials for this course. So we're gonna be using Essentials of Geology. It's the 12th edition, um, and this is loose leaf, but if you have the loose leaf or if you actually have the, the textbook, either one is fine. Um, but one of the most important things is going to be this Coast Learning System right here. So it's Intro to Physical Geology Lab Manual for Distance Learning, 4th edition. Um, this is going to be your lab kit. So I'm talking about an actual physical box of rocks. So it has minerals, it has three sets of rocks, there's going to be some sediment, there's maps, and there's other things that we're going to be using for the rest of the semester. Now some other required materials are going to be corn syrup and some colored pencils that we'll be using. Most of the stuff that we'll be using for this class are going to be things that you would have lying around your house. Now we're going to move down to our course objectives. So there's 10 course objectives for this class. Number one is to explain the origin of Earth and state some of the major events in history. So we're going to be doing this and discussing this throughout the class. Next is to use the tools and techniques of a geologist to analyze Earth's processes and materials. Again, these are going to be things that we'll be doing in lab um, and sometimes even in our field trip activities to get a better idea of how geologists analyze the different processes of Earth. Now, number three is identify rocks and minerals and explain how they form. So this is going to be the first half of the semester. Um, so this is going to be in lesson three through about seven. So we are going to be focusing on that, but I promise not the entire semester is going to focus on rocks. Number four is going to state the theory of plate tectonics and use it to explain geologic phenomenon such as seafloor spreading, continental drift, earthquakes, and mountain building. So again, plate tectonics is going to be an idea that we carry throughout the entire semester. Five, identify a variety of sur surface features such as streams, valleys, lakes, moraines that demonstrate the external processes that shape the earth. So this is stuff that we're going to be doing in lab, but we're also going to have the opportunity to look at this um, in some of our field trips. Next, we are going to explain the external processes involved such as erosion, glaciation, deposition, mass wasting that create surface features. Again lab field trips. Um, number seven, identify a variety of surface features such as mountains, volcanoes, calderas that demonstrate the internal processes that shape the earth's surface. Again, same thing as number five and six. Same can be said for number eight. Explain the internal processes involved that create a variety of subsurface features such as cave, sinkholes, magma bodies, and ore deposits. All right, so moving on to number nine, we're going to assess the hazards of geology related phenomenon and the impacts these events have on society. So this is again 
a thread that we will go throughout the entire semester. So we'll be continually talking about how geology is related to humans and how humans are related to geology. Lastly, we're going to identify the economic importance of a variety of earth materials and describe the impacts of the extraction and use of these earth materials have on society. All right, so to assess this, we are going to be doing different course assignments, exams, um, discussion boards, a whole bunch of variety of things. Now, the last thing we're going to really discuss about the course syllabus is grading. So categories, we are going to have quizzes. We have reading quizzes that are due every week. They're worth 10 points each. We have discussion boards. We'll have eight throughout the semester worth 20 points each. We'll have lab assignments that are due every week. So we're going to have 14 of those um, worth 20 points each. And then we're going to have projects. We have two big projects. Um, we're going to have a critical analysis and then we'll have a mapping project. And then lastly are our exams. We have four unit exams worth 100 points each and then one final exam worth 200 points. All right. Now, one other thing to note is that this is a lab-based class. So we are mandated by we, I mean OTC, that our students attend at least 75% of labs. So for an online class, we have 14 labs. So if you miss more than three, I am required to withdraw you from the class. So please make sure that you are doing your labs, you're turning them in on time. If you have any problems, concerns, comments, please email me, talk to me, and we'll find a happy medium ground for us. Um, if you have any questions about some of our course expectations, um, please let me know. It was great talking to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.